Hey, welcome to a Wanzer and Tell with the Wanzer and Tell. So you're looking at Dr. Doom over here, all pimped out with his new cape and got him a flight stand over here. And he's got the retro Deadpool pistol in his holster. If you didn't already know that, he's got the green effects from the new Loki figure from the Loki show and looks amazing. So happy to have it, man. Looks great. Damn, sorry, I hit my foot. Um, but yeah, like you gotta have your pimped out figures. I'm blown that Marvel Legends doesn't give us this many, you know, accessories that don't like it, but there's nothing I can do to change it because they're not changing it. So it is what it is. I don't like that the little metal things are in the front should be like more closer to the front of his like, you know, of his chest, but I can fix that. It's just something that, that, that moves a little bit. There is a little bit of metal in this top area too, to give you a little bit better grip around his neck. I've seen different capes that actually look better, but I didn't get one of those. This one came from China, took forever to get here. So let's pan on over here and then let's move the light as well. And we'll get over here. So I picked up Shang-Chi a sword, straight up. This is the cheapest Marvel Legend accessory I've ever bought in the past 10 years of collecting. This was $3 on eBay, taxes and everything, $3. It was a dollar plus $2 shipping. So even the shipping was a little too expensive, to be honest with you. It's because he didn't put it in a damn envelope. I mean, a little mail, like you can actually put a, in a letter, like you can put it in a letter envelope. You don't have to put it in one of those padded envelopes. It's, it's not that serious. Also, as you can see back here, I did pick up the new Ant-Man head for the new Ant-Man, well, for my old Ant-Man body. Um, I do have the new Ant-Man. I do have the new Peter Quill. I do have um, Puma. I think his name was Puma. And um, I guess that can be a giveaway later on. I'm not sure. If anybody wants the new Ant-Man without his head right there, I still have his hand accessories and everything. If you want it, shoot, I'll give it to you for the shipping. Just pay for shipping and it's yours if you really want the new Ant-Man. My Franklin Richards is chilling. I know I already showed this off. You know, you got a silver server here on his, you know, Galactus stand. If you can see that stand down there, that's how he's sitting up high. So those are those two characters. And let's make our way down here. I'm not sure my light can go this far. Yep, give me a second, give me a second. All right, let's see if we can crouch down here. So, Phoenix. Phoenix is dope, dude. I went ahead and spent some money on her. I shouldn't have, but I got her flame effects for her hands, that flame effect for her leg, and I also picked up the Galactus stand as well for her. That was 30 bucks. Uh, plus, her head is also from the two-pack Toys R Us exclusive. So this is a pretty expensive build. Um, it's okay though. Oh yeah, and then Silver Surfer stand was 60. No, it was 60. And uh, Franklin Richards was like 70. I know I said I wasn't gonna say it, but then I was going to last video, so I might as well tell you now. Shit, he was like 60, cause I got him early. Now I can get him for like 20, 30 bucks. Yeah, I gotta wait a little bit, but it's hard. Like when the new Destroyer armor comes out, and the new uh, Chasm and new Daredevils drops, it's over. I'll be picking that up, no problem. But yeah, man, I definitely recommend this build. As you can see, the little phoenix down there, the bird is right there. Helped keeping her leg in, actually. Had it in there in a perfect way. So she looks really good. I'm pretty excited. There are certain characters you can see that I really do like. Not every character is my favorite character that I've actually pimped out, but the way they look in um, Marvel Legend in the Marvel Legend way or figure way or figure form just looks so good. I put a card up here. I went to a little bridal shower the other day. We got a little Alice in Wonderland ace. But yeah, man, that's the collection so far. So we're waiting on Destroyer, Chasm, and uh, Electra Devil. I think those are the only ones coming out anytime soon. So I'm pretty excited for those ones. Can't wait. Oh, and I did pick up flight stands. Oh, and yeah, Nightcrawler has a little affected the bottom of his stand now just make it look like he poofed up excuse me i hate it when i do that on the camera but i'm not editing no editing so just a little pan of the collection collection is nice and beefy everyone is on a real flight stand besides um hit monkey i had to keep him on the little small metal one i made because it's just perfect for that area but yeah, man, these flight stands are awesome. Everybody has one now that needs one. I bought extra, I bought a 10 pack of them joints for like $12. I 
Um, that little piece right there was like seven bucks. The sword was three. His uh, flame effect, green flame effect for Loki. I got the whole figure for six dollars. So it was like the cheapest action figure I ever bought too as well. Plus shipping was 11, but the figure was six. So I gave the figure to my friend who loved Loki, like all versions of Loki, because that's like his nickname too. So I gave him the figure. All I didn't want it was this. So that was dope. My Red Hawk back there looking great. Man, so happy about the collection and where we're at right now. I don't, it's, it's been slow guys. If y'all haven't realized, like I've only bought four figures this year. Gambit, Pretty Boy, Franklin Richards, and uh who else who else did i buy this year oh yeah i bought um darth maul but that's not that's not it though there's somebody else oh i'm drawing a blank how do i how am i drawing a blank <laughs> give me a second i'm sorry gambit pretty Bo oh daredevil was last year franklin richards huh i guess i guess only bought four figures here i mean Earthworm Jim was bought, what, last year, but he'll be coming this year, so I, I will include him in my top 10, because he's definitely going to be top 10. So is uh, Full Throttle from um, Biker, Mars, Biker Mice from Mars, most definitely. Gotta have it. So, but yeah, man, it's been a real slow year as far as Marvel Legends for me. Did I put it back here or anything? Huh. Oh, yeah, I bought this, uh, bought the uh, Alice in Chains box set Funko Pop. And I also just picked up the Indiana Jones Hot Topic exclusive Temple of Doom um, Indiana Jones because I love Indiana Jones. First thing I ever watched as a kid as far as action stories from my great grandfather. So I'm glad I got to sit down and watch that with him before he passed on. That was awesome. But yeah, I can't think of the other figure. Who else did I buy this year? Hmm. One more time. I'm sorry. I know I'm just Gambit, Pretty Boy, Franklin Richards. Darth Maul. Excuse me. I guess that's it. Four figures and Earthworm Jim. Okay. All right. I guess that makes sense because I wanted Ant Man's head, but I didn't. I wanted. I didn't really want the character. I wanted his hands that he comes with, but the new Ant Man. Hold on. I gotta put my camera up. Give me a second. I'll show it to you. New Ant Man proportions are small, which is funny because it's Ant Man. But yeah, he just he's a lot smaller. The I I wanted this helmet so badly because. It's so bright, sorry. The helmet, the eyes, you can see the eyes in the helmet. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but yeah, the figures, it's good. I don't I don't mind it, but I just, I like the other one better, the one that's right here. So that's the one I'll be keeping. Like I said, if anybody needs this fig, shipping, I guess the shipping should probably be like, what, six, seven dollars, maybe eight, depending on where you are. Maybe not, I'm not sure. But maybe not. I'll just keep it for, you know, I'll just keep it for a giveaway. Whatever. If anybody, if anybody gets it or whatever, I'll sell it. No big deal. So yeah, don't worry about hitting me up. I'll just put it in a giveaway or something. But yeah, that's about it, y'all. Um, it's Like I said, it's been really slow. It's nothing but a... Uh, um, man. Uh, um, an accessory year, for real. Buying stands and just little pieces for things. Nothing. I haven't really bought anything else. I bought the stands. I bought stuff for Dr. Doom, Phoenix, Ant-Man... Um, I used some parts from, um, oh, Molecule Man. Molecule Man was the other figure I bought this year. So five figures. All right, cool. I don't, I'm not including Ant-Man, even though you see him here, but he, cause he's technically just pieces. He's, he's for pieces. He's not, I'm not keeping this. So I don't include that as me buying the figure. That's my rules. But all right, y'all, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great one. Thanks for watching Wander and Tell, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Please like, subscribe, subscribe and comment. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what you got going on. How many figures have you bought this year? Have you bought a lot? Did you not? Let me know. Peace.